a lot of people, rather than us telling ourselves who we are, a lot of people are sort of told who they are or we're stereotyping people. And I think that has huge implications on mental health, but it also can be amplified by the specific situations that we're in. I mean, one in particular that we've discussed offline is being a minority in a space. I mean, I don't think by any stretch of the imagination, I'm a minority in the, in the data field, like ethnicity wise, but I have been a minority in pretty much every single sport that I've played growing up. I know how it feels to be the only one and the different uh, types of things that go through my head, the, the different level of confidence and those types of things. Can you touch a little bit on, um, you know, how mental health intersects with the lack of diversity in the data science space? And if there's anything that we can do to improve the, the overall quality of, of the domain in, like in regards to that? I love this question so much because that was another aspect of why I got into data is just like this diversity and representation. And I think first of all is like when when people think about like diversity, like they often forget like the inclusion component. So it's not enough to like check off the boxes of like we have X, Y, Z this people and X, Y, Z that people, right? It's like, all right, once you get people within a space, how do you make sure they feel included? So, you know, you being an individual like who's a minority on the sport field, yeah, that that may feel uncomfortable at first, but imagine if like yeah, that was the case, but they made an extra effort to make sure you felt included and it was known that like you were valued. And I think that needs to happen for, for all space. I think the past year um, has really uh, DNI's been a very hot topic for various political and, and social reasons. Um, but I think a lot of people are missing the, the inclusion part. And so for, for data teams, you know, really, and I think it goes beyond just like race, but like race, gender, identities, uh, backgrounds, you know, class. Um, and for context, my background is sociology. So before I got into data, I was like really into social sciences. Um, and so like, you know, all those perspectives are extremely important because like we're literally building tools that shape people's decisions. <laughs> and that's a huge responsibility. And we're embedding our biases within that. And so by having these diverse perspectives, and making sure people are included to feel empowered to share their perspective and not be subdued, you know, ultimately turns into like better data products, products that don't harm people accidentally. Um, you know, there, every other day, there's probably some article about some big tech firms, AI kind of going rogue and doing something wrong, right? <laughs> um, you know, how, how, how can we mitigate that? And so I think that's, that's kind of a key question is like, you know, Diversity is not enough. Is like, how do you include people in your practices, or your practices and, and policies? But also as, as an individual level, you know, what are you doing to not make people feel included um, in, in a space and being self-critical? So again, going back to the mental health aspect of it, of like being very self-critical, like where, where am I missing at? Where am I not being an ally? Where am I being an ally? And really constantly trying to improve on that. And then to your other question of like the mental health aspect of it, just being blind, like it's lonely sometimes. I don't know that many data scientists that look like me, <laughs> um, you know, and some people even told me like, Mark, like, and this is kind of weird to hear, but like, yeah, you're like kind of like a role model for other people that look like you because like there's not that many people, so they see you. <laughs> and that's like a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's a little scary, but um, you know, you, you make it work, you, you identify people with similar backgrounds, you just go out of your way. Um, for example, like I'm doing through this program called Black Tides, I'm mentoring um, people who identify as black um, who wanna go into data careers. Um, that's really uplifting for me because like, I get to help people trying to go into data career, but also I get to see other people in the data space that look like me as well. And so, you know, there's no easy answer how to resolve it, but, at the same time, that doesn't absolve us from like actually individually trying. I think the biggest thing we could do is like being very critical of like how can we include others in our processes, in our policies, and just our day-to-day -day work.